Oh, do you see the shades? Do you see the shades? Let me let me let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I put on the shades. I put I I put on the shades, Marcus Spears, Swagoo. I put on the shades, Molly Q. You know why? Because y'all got me to my Ric Flair mode. Whoa! To be the man, you've got to beat the man, okay? You all don't want to hear about Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr being in the NFC West. You know why? Because I'm not, I'm supposed to be that dude. That's why. Whoa! To be the man, you've got to beat the man. And that's what Aaron Rodgers is supposed to do. It's Let's supposed go. to be this yeah, right here. You understand what I'm saying? This is it's supposed to be about all of that. It's supposed to be about the blitz. It's supposed to be about the Jets. It's supposed to be about jet flying, son of a gun. Whoa! That's how you're supposed to have that kind of attitude. And the fact that Aaron Rodgers, anybody that thinks he's supposed to hesitate to be a part of the AFC, it doesn't matter when you're that man. When you're that man, it's not supposed to matter where you're at. Who you represent or anybody, because it's not about anybody else. It's supposed to be about you. Preach, OG. Okay, it's the last play of regulation. The Lakers can win it. The ball is in LeBron James' hands. Russell Westbrook had a damn good game last night. Let's give credit where credit is due. He shot 52% from the field. He dropped 30, only had two turnovers. Let's give respect where respect is due. Russell Westbrook showed up. At, you know, in, at the Toyota Center in Houston, okay, he showed up. LeBron James has the ball in his hands. You don't need a three. You don't need a two. All you need, it really, all you need is one free throw. That's it. That's it. All you have to do is get fouled or go in for the layup. And you were deferential. <sighs> Jay Williams. Molly Q. <clears throat> yeah. Jay Williams, you know, you know my, my man, my brother, Charlie Mack, right? Yeah. You know Charlie Mack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Charlie Mack, Charlie Mack, uh, obviously very, very close with Will Smith. Uh, you know, somebody that's a Philly native. Everybody knows, everybody loves Charlie Mack. That's my brother. He sent this tweet because he's from Philly and he reps Philly very, very hard. No doubt about it, okay? He's like a harder version and obviously a taller version of Kevin Hart, but that's neither here nor there. Listen to this. He wanted me to read this on national television. So I'm going to do that. Molly, check this out. Yeah. Dear Philadelphia, mm-hmm. I know it's winter time, but catch Mr. Softy, Ben Simmons, when he comes to town to Philly. Let's give him a wonderful brotherly sisterly, affectionate, warm welcome this evening at Wells Fargo Center in the way that only Philly can do it. Mm. Hashtag let's go Sixers. Hashtag been gone. Hashtag Mr. Softy mm. back in town. Let me- Kevin Durant, the best player in the world, is coming into the building with one of the most electrifying box office talents in the game today in Kyrie Irving. And that Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant is going up against a former teammate that they didn't appreciate wanting out of Brooklyn. They got a coach in Steve Nash who had a problem with James Harden because he felt lied to, that James Harden told him just weeks prior to being traded to Philly. He had no desire to leave. He wanted to stay in Brooklyn, et cetera, et cetera, but behind the scenes was working to get his way out out of Brooklyn to get to Philadelphia. So Steve Nash got something, but he's not playing, and we get all of that. And then there's James Harden, a former league MVP, one of the greatest scorers we've ever seen in NBA history, and one of the great players we've ever seen because of his versatility. He can play point, he can play shoot guard, he can dance on you all day long, he can he can drop 40 in a heartbeat. All of that stuff's going on. And then you've got the greatness of one of the top two big men in basketball in Joel and Embiid, who's playing at an MVP level. So we see a game like this, and we're hyped. We're excited. We don't have the mentality, Jay, tonight. Oh, it's just another game. Nah, you know, it's a regular season game. and We got an obligation. We got to go out there or whatever. Yeah, we know it's not a championship on the line. But this is the kind of stuff people walk through the turnstiles to see. Mm-hmm. That's why games are important leading to the playoffs. 
because you got cats who can ball. And, 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 and let's understand something here. Kyrie ain't backing down. Kyrie Preach. will dance on you all night long. That, brother, I expect Kyrie Irving to be spectacular tonight in the house that right. LaFleur did an awful job. 100%. I'm talking about last year. But you are making it. Whoops, I'm a fool. I'm just, you are making Wait, wait, wait. Let me help you. No, I get on the chair. You're, you're, you're okay? driving me crazy here that Rodgers, he, he doesn't deserve any blame. What's the matter with that chair? Give me that, that, that pad. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you're, you're telling me, you're telling me that Rodgers does not deserve any blame. <laughs> And I want to preface my comments by, and I want to address all the Westbrook supporters, himself, his family, and everybody else. You know, the other day, a lot of noise was made about my, my point of it's the first time I looked at Russell Westbrook and said he didn't deserve to be a Laker. That's exactly what the hell I meant. I'm not stuttering, <laughs> but it wasn't because of how he has played. See, people, you know, that's the one thing I hate. I understand clickbait and the trolls and the media and all of that other stuff. I don't mind that. I, it's just when people don't give it its proper context and you misquote folks on purpose. See, that's why the athletes hate yeah. folks. When you, 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 you don't contextualize things properly because you want clickbait. So Stephen A. said this, knowing that half the players only see the headlines and they ain't read the article and all they see is the headline and it's like you're a hater or whatever the case may be. No. Russell Westbrook is shooting 28% from, from three-point range. That's not why he shouldn't be a Laker. Russell Westbrook is having his worst season, averaging 18-7-7 and on 43% shooting for the field. That's why he shouldn't be a Laker. That's not why he shouldn't be a Laker. He's averaging four turnovers a game. That's not why he shouldn't be a Laker. These things happen. He sits up there and he looks at the world and, you know, his intellect is here and everybody else is here. And as a result, you know, it, it's more than just a game. It, it's beneath me. I got bigger things on my mind. But could you make sure you cut that check, please? That's Kyrie Irving. That is who he has been. And so when I saw that 50 last night, I said, damn, look at this spectacular brother here. And how many games have I seen him? He don't even care. It don't matter. I miss games I got to miss. I'll play games that I have to play. They don't lift the vaccine mandate. And Brooklyn ends up in a playing game that he can't play. Brooklyn ends up in a first-round series in a game seven, and he can't play. We're going to care more about that than him. I don't know that to be true. I'm saying that is the impression he has given us, doggy, and that's why I was disgusted. Uh, he's 100%. I mean, don't forget the Portland-Utah-Detroit road trip that he missed last year because he went to the birthday party, which oh. drove me crazy, too. Uh, I can't do it. He's 1,000% right. I wish I could argue with him here, but I can't. He's a wonderful basketball player. He killed Curry. In the finals, the year that Cleveland won, let's never forget that in Game 7. And to me, unlike Djokovic in tennis, who's only hurting himself because of the vaccination thing, he's hurting the Brooklyn franchise. And he's hurting Durant, who he convinced to go to Brooklyn with him, maybe the Knicks, he goes to Brooklyn. He's letting, letting them down because he is getting paid a fortune and there's players on that team who need him to be healthy and playing on the court so they have a chance to win a championship. And he thinks he's smarter than everybody else. He thinks he's smarter than everybody else in the room, and that is very, very dangerous. I think Steve hit it right on the head. The fact that he hasn't gotten his vaccine situation straightened out is a complete disgrace. He's in a team sport. He's making $40 million a year. You owe it to your owner. You owe it to the GM. You owe it to Nash. You owe it to the And you owe it to right. Silva. You owe it to the family base, you owe it to everybody to make sure that you are available when they play postseason games in your building. And he feels he owes no one anything. And he's wrong. He is com when you're getting paid $40 million a year and they want you to take a shot, you take the shot. And you go out there and you play. And how about Durant? Now, Durant doesn't want to get mad because Durant's such a – I think he's a pretty good guy, so he doesn't want to get involved. If you're Durant and you sit there and you lose playoff games because this guy doesn't want to play in your building is he the vaccination thing, I'd be ticked off. Hold on now. You're the one of the reason, the reason I'm here. We need you to win because Durant can't beat it when walking for the by himself. He needs Irving. He needs him. And if Irving doesn't show up because of a dopey vaccine thing because he thinks, again, quote, unquote, he's smarter than anybody in the room, that's letting Durant down. Who he brought to him, he brought to Brooklyn in the first place. So he is a thousand percent correct. I've been waiting to scream about Irving on this show for the last three times. Now I get a chance to, but I'm with him 100%. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.